our future leaders, welcome to the Academic Awards Ceremony of 2019-2020. It's definitely not the usual one, but the pride, joy, and appreciation for your excellence and commitment is even more. Please join me to welcome AMG Principal, Mr. Omar Hatoum, who would like to share a few words with you. Good morning, dear students. I am happy and grateful to be among all of you on this wonderful event where we celebrate hard work, growth, and accomplishments. I would also like to take the time to thank our incredible teachers, administrators, and staff who have dedicated their lives to ensure that no matter what challenges come our way, you can still receive the best education. They do remarkable work and their love hard work and dedication have not wavered in these unprecedented times but have only grown stronger thank you deeply to our wonderful learners who are present here today i say i am in awe of what you have accomplished thus far i am blown away by the personal challenges that many of you have overcome to make each day better it provides me with a little bit of comfort Yes, comfort, because I believe that through challenge and adversity, humans grow and develop. This has made you a little braver than you already were. Although you may not have had control over what happened, you have shown us all time and time again that you have control over your actions and your attitudes. You may not be able to control a pandemic, but you can control your attitude towards it. You are full of energy, hope, tolerance, and positivity. This has become so contagious, we have learned to adopt these wonderful qualities that make you the exceptional learners that you are. To today's awards recipients, I say, hats off to you for your diligence and perseverance each and every year. You are proof that no pandemic will deter you from accomplishing what you set your mind to. I hope that you will continue to strive for the best and that you will carry the lessons that you associate with our core values. I hope that next year I will see new names and faces as I know that you are all capable of excelling in your school work. Class of 2021, you are agents of change. We all realize that this situation is not at all what you expected for your senior year, but we appreciate all your hard work and dedication over the past month. You have handled this new norm with class and determination. Don't let anything, not even a pandemic, steal your future. After all, life is full of opportunities and what you believe will determine what you will create. Nothing your teachers, head of sections, or I will say today will quantify the depth of pride and joy we feel for how strong and optimistic you have been over the past year. And for that we say thank you and may you always remain ambitious, optimistic, healthy, safe, and happy. Allah yahmikun ya Rabb, hafdu ala sahatkun wa salamatkun. مبروك للجميع وموفقين. She graduated from AUS with a bachelor's degree in finance and a master's degree in business administration and currently a member of Shell's global HR Lean Six Sigma project to simplify global HR processes. She is known to have a passion for learning and development while championing diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Her mission in life is to empower the youth. She is an active member of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid program for leadership development, young leaders, and volunteers for Injaz organization. Please welcome our successful alumni, class of 1999, Ms. Khulud Qayyid. Greetings, everyone, and congratulations. This is a remarkable achievement, and you should all be so proud of yourselves. I'm very honored to be here today with you. When I was asked to come and share with you this special moment, 
I thought that I wanted to share with you a short story about this girl that I know. This girl went to university. On her first day of the onboarding, she was sitting in this auditorium, a huge auditorium with so many students from different countries. And she was so excited. And of course, trying to look like she is extremely confident. Deep down, she wasn't. It was the first day. She had anxiety, she was scared, she was unsure, and that's okay. The Dean of the School of Business came up on stage and he said to everyone, ladies and gentlemen, can you please look to your right? So the girl looked to her right. And then he said, can you please look to your left? And the girl then looked to her left. And then the Dean said, there is a 50% chance that the person that you saw will not be there in the next semester. Suddenly, everyone went silent. Everyone was confused and everyone was scared. And that girl started to reflect, what does that mean to me? Does it mean that the university is very difficult? And she started to worry because she graduated with A's from high school. Days passed by and the first semester passes and indeed there were so many students who just did not return to the university for different reasons. Some of them thought that's not what they wanted to do in life. Some of them just decided to do something else. Days passed by and there was one year to the graduation of this girl. Her mother was there and she saw a cup in the university. One day the mother was just visiting the university and she saw a cup that was given usually for students who graduate with the highest GPA from the university. The mother looks at her and tells her, I want you to get me this cup. The girl started to worry again because she said, yes, I've been getting A's all along, but who knows what am I going to do in the next year? The mom tells her, I really want this cup. And of course she loves her mom and she wants to make her proud. So what does she do? She puts that as a mission in her life for her next year. She worked so hard and indeed she was able to achieve it. And in the last year, she did graduate and she got a four out of four GPA. And she did get the cup that her mom wanted. Yes, her mom wanted it. But that doesn't mean that she did not want it as well, because that's how she made sure that this was her purpose and she wanted to make sure that she graduated with highest grades. This little girl is Khulud Qariyad. I'm this little girl who was in university. It's been more than 20 years since the story actually happened. And the reason why I'm sharing it with you is not to tell you that you should always listen to what your parents say or you should always try to get the highest grades. That's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that don't let anyone stop you from achieving what you want to achieve. The sky's the limit. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do something. Don't let anyone tell you or put you down or tell you that, oh, because you, got, you did really well in school, this does not mean anything and this does not mean that you're going to do well in university or that you will not do well in, 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 uh, in your career. The sky's the limit once again. Achieve as high as you can. Congratulations once again and well done. And keep it up. Today, you will receive a token of appreciation for your hard work and determination. Grade seven last year, grade eight this year. Dala Darwish, Highest Distinction Scholarship. Habiba Beltaji, Distinction. Jana Wardi, Distinction. Julie Husseini, Distinction, Outstanding Athlete, Recognition. Layan Al Ashram, Distinction. Maryam Satari, Distinction. Mira Al Johari, Distinction. Talia Shamdeen, Distinction, Outstanding Athlete. Jana Adromli, 
Outstanding Athlete Recognition Lean Murad Distinction Outstanding Athlete Mais Ammari Distinction Milia Nasser Distinction Ranim Nasrallah Distinction Outstanding Athlete Recognition Reem Dow Highest Distinction Scholarship Sadin Baidun Distinction Salma Sahat Distinction Tala Dawood Distinction Bushraz Beeb Distinction Dina Saeed Outstanding Athlete Farah Tawil Distinction Farah Bakhati Distinction Huda Zbib Distinction Karen Shama Distinction Kawsar Al Bidali Distinction Leia Basil Outstanding Athlete Lina Al Khatib Highest Distinction Maryam Ghannoum Recognition Maryam Sayyid Ghul Distinction Maryam Yusuf Distinction Naya Witta Distinction Rayan Faye Distinction Roxana Rahimi Distinction Sama Muhammad Distinction Yasmin Al Ahmadi Distinction Letter of Academic Achievement goes to Rula Bidas, Sidra Bushna, Dana Al Mulla, Hana Zaki, Minna Shara, Rama Abu Sbaiki, Dana Skandar, Julia Dardari, Maryam Ghannoum, Maryam Al Rayani, and Suad Malouk. Grade 8 last year, Grade 9 this year, Amna Al Banna, Recognition. Aya Shafa Amri, Highest Distinction Aisha Badr, Highest Distinction Recognition Fatma Muyakkil, Recognition Ghazal Baytouni, Distinction Jana Haikal Distinction Jana Musannif Outstanding Athlete Recognition Karina Deek Outstanding Athlete Lujain Radwan Distinction
Mahin Osman Distinction. Maryam Al Attal Distinction. Najat Malul Ain Distinction. Rana Brahim Distinction. Zena Ghibbi Distinction. Afnan Muhammad Distinction. Anna Maria Alush Highest Distinction, Outstanding Athlete. Recognition Scholarship Kalini Deek Outstanding Athlete Dana Khawaja Highest Distinction Dania Dabbas Distinction Doha Jwaijati, Outstanding Athlete. Jana Ali, Distinction. Layan Al Adus, Highest Distinction Scholarship. Maryam Shazli, Distinction. Nastya Tarazi, Outstanding Athlete. Ranim Tafish, Distinction. Roda Al Khalaf, Distinction. Rita Hussain, Distinction. Sahar Lewis Distinction Samar Rawi Distinction Zain Hassan Distinction Recognition Ayal Jariri Distinction Hind al Mutawa Distinction Layan Aqil Distinction Layan Ghanayim Distinction Lina Jeridi Distinction Outstanding Athlete Maya Miqdadi Recognition Mira Quatli Distinction Nawara Nabhani Distinction Noor Sba'i Outstanding Athlete Rima Al Atwi Distinction Sara Zidan Distinction Tia Al Maluhi Distinction Letter of Academic Achievement goes to Dana Fargali, Fatma Muyakkil, Karina Deek Rimi Abu Saif, Inas Bil Kibir, Aya Qaddoumi, Hala Ahmedi, Luanna Qaysoun, Maya Miqdadi. Congratulations, you make us all proud. You will be receiving your awards in class and hope next year we will have our ceremony as usual in the assembly hall. Congratulations again and again.